Nearly 200 academics from across the political spectrum are banding together to demand to defend free speech for America's educators. They are calling themselves the Academic Freedom Alliance, and Dr. Carol Swain is a member. She joins us now live to explain more about the group's mission. Doctor, thank you for being with us this morning. What is it? What did you see on campuses that led you to, to set up this group? Well, in this cancel culture, more and more we find faculty members targeted because of something they say in the classroom, or maybe they write an article and, or, or an opinion piece where they find themselves under attack by students and often not supported by administrators. And this has been going on for a number of years. And usually one person is isolated, targeted, you know, marginalized and left to fend for themselves. And so with this alliance, which is very libertarian, it includes people across the political spectrum, we will band together and the organization will offer financial assistance to those who need it. Wow. Uh, let's take a look at this graphic here, and it shows teachers who identify as Democrats outnumber their Republican counterparts by a ratio of 8.5 to 1. But as you just referenced, I mean, this group is, is bipartisan, really. So this isn't necessarily about one person's politics versus the other. You guys want to be able to help everyone have their rights and their free speech, right? That's right. Yeah. Increasingly, liberal professors, you know, with solid records of progressivism have been attacked for something they say innocently in the classroom or something they tweet. Uh, no one is safe in this environment. And if, university, if universities are to return to being marketplaces of ideas and places where people can pursue research and talk about big ideas, we have to make changes. And so this is a step in the right direction. And in the current environment, no one is safe. Tenure means nothing. Mm -hmm. Doctor, we have a lot of students on, conservative students, who feel that they are also being silenced. Do you ever foresee this growing to include protection for students as well as faculty members? Well, I think that we do need uh, protection for viewpoint discrimination, and it affects everyone on campus. In fact, it's not just students and faculty. There are also staff members and administrators who find themselves in a situation that's very uncomfortable because they never know when they will run afoul of some individual or some group. And it's very easy for a person to target an individual, to make up lies about that person. Uh, it's difficult for the person who is targeted to defend themselves. And this also uh, applies to one of Saul Alinsky's rules where he talks about, you know, uh, target, freezing the target. Uh, they yeah. polarize around a particular individual. Mm. And if a person has to defend themselves alone, it's much more difficult now that there's a group of academics who are trying to reclaim the university, this is a Absolutely. step in the right direction. Well, we'll be curious yes. to see where it goes, that's for sure. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Carol Swain, appreciate thank it. Thank you.